Game of Life! Welcome back, family, to the talk show, The Game of Life. I'm your host, The Real OG. Uh, right here, this is where things get real. Uh, we talk about community, health, wealth, and happiness. Today's topics uh, out there in uh, my social world space, we want you to go to the Sundial Networks. That's S-U-N-D-I-A-L dot TV. That's W-W dot S-U-N-D-I-A-L dot TV. See us on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday and Wednesday are live shows at 7 p.m. We do a rerun on Friday, 7 p.m. For my people that's catching it out there on the network, uh, please go check us out and catch up on the shows. This is your first time seeing it. Or you got a show that you want to re-see because there's a lot of them I see that's like super high, you know, 40 Acres and a Mule and other various ones. Um, you can go to see us at YouTube under Sundial Networks. Hit the video. That way you can open up into all the videos. Um, I definitely recommend that. If you want to follow us on Facebook, uh, you can look us up under The Real OG. Or you can look us up under um, Sundial Networks and The Game of Life. Um, we actually have a Facebook page under Game of Life. Y'all go check that out. Um, make sure y'all being healthy out there and, and, and drinking your water and different stuff. Um, we definitely going to have a show talking about that, um, about getting our health. We got so many things because this is The Game of Life. Today's uh, topic it's going to be the new black agenda is what we're going to be trying to talk about and bring it to um, what we are uh, doing today. Um, I hope I'm, I, well, I can't say I hope I'm reaching uh, hearts and minds and souls and stuff like that because I know we, we are here that every day. It just, you know, in my heart, want to see our unity within our community as human beings, but really touching my heart and soul is the black community. As y'all can see, I'm a black man, and I see a lot of disparity and a lot of things that's going on out here in our community. Um, a lot of unnecessary division amongst us, and um, it's a lot of hope. I don't want to, you know, never be painting a um, dark picture because usually what we do is um, we forget about all the positive things that happen out there in the world to us. And we focus in on the negative, you know. It's like um, you have a, a million followers. Or we'll simplify. You got a hundred people hit on you and tell you how much they like you, love you, this, that, and other, on and on and on. And you got five or ten haters out there, we'll call them. We'll call them haters. <laughs> um, but you'll focus more in on those, you know what I'm saying, the negativity. And a lot of time where I'm here, I'm not hearing the negativity. I'm not hearing the positivity in a lot of people's spirits, you know what I mean? And we want to be uplifting, you know. I mean, I understand the time and that's why I come up with various topics, hidden various issues. You know, I mean, we can't tackle the world in a um, 30 minute or one hour show. You know what I'm saying? But I know we can have an impact, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and be giving people vital information um, to help enhance their life. And I figured today would be a, a good one. You know, the new black agenda, you know, because we are in a reconstruction period right now. And um, when you go back through history, um, we've had some, definitely had some failures when we didn't miss the bus or had some kind of setbacks that's been pushed us back. And when we first came out of uh, slavery in 1865, they had a reconstruction period after that, which was seven, 12 years after, you know, um, making the proclamation to, uh, to free, have the freedom of slavery with um a, that, that was like the first reconstruction now I'm going slow with this to 
make sure I get it right and reach a lot of people because I know I have a lot of people that come up and have the topics and ask me different things like when you said this in this show da 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 um, and that's why it, it, it's, it's good if you are tuning in that you get it from a, a voice and you can see the physical expressions and different things like that because just like when you send a, a email or text people don't a lot of times get that emotion through it or they have a false emotions about it and take it in a negative spirit or a negative way um but back to that reconstruction period uh, when we came out of out of out of slavery that was the first reconstruction and and, and that's really one of the top times in the black community that we were really doing this we were in up climb with a lot of barriers removed you know what i'm saying and we kind of was a little bit to our own devices able to you know do some things and, and we really made made some moves but of course we got set back you know what i'm saying i mean they hurry up and rescinded that as we well know um and when we had uh in the 1900s a reconstruction period and that was the early on part you know what i'm saying because we had a lot of different systems that, that went went around and right after the for the black community after the um civil rights movement you've seen a lot of things come out of that you know what i mean when they um issued the um firm action plan of the government doing that and right now this should be that type of time that we should be seeing some similar things going on with the um wording and the things that they put out there under this presidency that just passed and i don't want to be getting on vertical issues you know what i'm saying like i said talking about republicans and democrats and who did more and what i mean most of you all out there at this point know you know where i'm at i feel like we should be um as the black community vying for our own political party and if you really go out there and look it's not like I'm actually asking for something hard to do because it's it's several parties out there outside of the Republican, Democrat, Independent. I mean, y'all go up there and look them all up. It's, you know, all kind. I don't even want to get into how many different names of various parties out there representing different ethnic groups and different organizations and mindset. But none of them representing the black community, who is probably the most unique community <laughs> within the United States uh, of America and I would challenge you know that nobody else has a story like the United States black American so I want to you know um, reiterate what I've said before on some past shows about the uh, us holding a title for ourselves um, the U H O A S, you know, United Heirs of American Slaves. Now we have a lot of other titles out there, but I think that's the one we should be, you know, holding vast and strong to. Because before you can get reparations, they have to know you can't just be oh, it's the black people. We're gonna give them to the black people. When they gave reparations to the Indians, they had a segment of their own things, and that's a whole nother show that we could go into. But before we get there, we have to decide on that as a people who you are. You know what I mean? And you say the African Americans, everybody in the world are African. Everybody in the world descended from Africa. You know what I'm saying? What's your new unique story? <laughs> and if you out there listening and getting this, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all are hurt and broken and feel like you're under attack a lot of times. Um, we not here for that. We not here to attack you. We here to uplift you. Now, like I say, getting tough and hard information out to your spirit and to your mind, and so you can know what it is. That's what we're trying to do here. That's what we're trying to build here. You know, United Heirs of American Slaves. You owe us. <laughs> You owe us. You know what I'm saying? That, that, you owe us. <laughs> that makes sense. You know, it's a lot of 
other, you know, things out here. But I think we need to, you know, get the, that agenda together. Like I said many times before, and I'll always say it, you know what I'm saying? It's really only one race in the world, the human race. All of us are supposed to be human. We've been segmented around the world, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and we do things to one another all across the world for different reasons, you know what I'm saying? So that's a given. We're here on planet Earth playing a game, game of life. This is what it is. So let's 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 learn, let's move, let's come together. You know what I'm saying? Now, if my united heirs of American slaves can come together, have some unity, we can come up with an agenda, a real agenda, not, you know, this, that, and you know, trying to figure out who is the best slave master, the Republican Party or the Democrat. No, my better than yours. Your my my better than yours. And your, you know, hey, <laughs> ain't none of what I'm doing nothing for you right now. You you got the same problems you had when you came out of slavery down there, fifty years ago. We shouldn't even be. A lot of these topics should be done. We in twenty twenty one. You know, right at the making of this. Now, hopefully you seeing this in the future and we didn't overcame a lot of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because of things like that. I see the movement out there. I see the, the energy out there. But let's uh, come together, you know what I'm saying, and figure it out. Now, I, I wanted to hit on some quick topics. I'm going to pull up a quick slide here. Y'all know I'm good with these slides these days. You know what I'm saying? Pull up a, a, a quick one. Um, and... This was, you know, Biden's thing when he came in office. Uh, lift every voice. The Biden plan for Black America. And I just want to read this real quick to to give you a mindset of, you know, what they know. Joe Biden knows that African Americans can never have a fair shot at the American dream, so long as enriched disparities are allowed to quietly chip away. I need to put my glasses on y'all. So y'all excuse me away at opportunity. He is, he is running for president to rebuild our economy in a way that finally brings everyone along. And that starts by rooting out systematic racism from our laws, our policies, our institutions, and our hearts. And I'm not gonna go into the rest. Y'all go back, and if y'all read, looking at this, y'all, 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 you know, really dissect this. You know what I'm saying? Cause he 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 been in office now. You know what I'm saying? So what are we pushing? We see the trillions of dollars that's getting pushed out here. Okay, we got the pandemic situation, but you know we had those killings when all this stuff was happening, and we was pushing all that, and it's, I hate it's still happening. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, I mean we had um, the Asians. They didn't got their thing passed with the the um, hate bill. They got theirs passed. We still ain't got a hate bill passed, you know what I'm saying, for black Americans. We getting killed, not beat up or pushed down. You know what I'm saying? I just com I, I actually salute them for being able to come together. I just want us to be able to get this. I want to see this unity. Now, I, I, I got this up here just for a hot brief second more because, I, I mean, a lot of times we read over stuff, and like I say, we don't go into it hard enough, you know what I'm saying? He know when he said, we don't have a fair shot. <laughs> he know this. It's your president saying this. You know what I'm saying? He know he ain't got a fair shot. Um, rooting out systemic racism from our laws, our policies, our institutions, and our hearts. Y'all absorb that, please. You know what I'm saying? Um, absorb that, like in real time. Like real time. I mean, absorb that. Go back, look that over, understand that. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing I've been haven't been saying. But if we're gonna have a new agenda for ourselves, like I said, it's a reconstruction period. And I've already been saying economics is everything. Now if they if he's saying he know we ain't got a fair chance, we need specific bills applying to the black people. Now I don't wanna be in in in, in, in that 
it's always me. Why I can't do nothing? I'm helpless. Well, look at all this stuff that happened to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't want our community to be doing it because we got to take onus of some of this stuff too. You know what I'm saying? It's like we haven't came together and figured out some basic stuff. And as I said, you can't be looking for your oppressor to come save you. I've talked about that before. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a battered woman asking the man that's beating her to, you know, the way he beating her, well, can you can you go help me? Can you help me? Dad, if you watching, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use one of your stories that you told me. He told me this about people out there in the world. He like uh he said, you're gonna have friends, you know what I'm saying? And some of them gonna be some snakes. Some of them gonna be some snakes. And if you keep allowing this friend to do you wrong, you keep going back. And we're gonna have the friendship be that snake. Hey, Mr. Snake, you know, oh, you bit me, Mr. Snake, why you bite me? Snake, go, oh, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. I won't do it again. Like that dude tell you before he black in your eye. Like this community say before they kill you and shoot you down. You're like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that snickle, like I said, because inside is rage, it's, 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 it's raining inside. You know, I know it's raining in a lot of y'all out there. You know what I'm saying? But if you keep falling for it, you keep falling for it. You're not waking up. You, I mean, you, you're feeling like you're a victim. Like you have, you, there's nothing you can do. You've done nothing to put yourself in this position. You've stayed in this position. You've learned nothing. You go back to the snake. Hey, snake, we're going to hang out again. The snake bites you again. He's like, the snake, why you bite me again? He's like, hey, I ain't want to bite you. I'm a snake, though. That's what I do. I mean, we got to take advantage of what we got here. We got time for reconstruction. We got time to come together and be unified. You know what I'm saying? I know we're not going to agree on everything. That's fine. But let's work on some stuff that we can work on together. If three of your ideas that you want to get done and, and you they, they no breakers, let's bring that to the table. Bring your three. Bring your three. And then all of us, we can come together and say, okay, this is what we're going to get done. And we'll start getting things done. Um, but <laughs> we can't be apologetic with our agenda. We have to really solidly break down what we want and where we're going. Now, I'm going to lay this out here as the number one. I believe this to be, you know, the number one starting for ourselves within our community. It's not going out to asking the politicians what they're going to do for us and all that. It's what we need to do for ourselves within our community, you know, as an agenda. And that's creating family structure. And I ain't saying that if you can't get along with that man or that woman that you got to stay with them, but you got to be able to do it for these kids, you know what I'm saying? Because they are the hope for the future. And you kids got to start having more respect for your elders and, and listening to some things here because it ain't no future if it ain't no right now. If you don't got it together right now, it ain't ain't no tomorrow because you, I mean, you getting beat right now. So... We got two folds that we got to work on, but we got to create that black family structure. And um, I'm going to pull up another slide here because, um, I, I, you know, I like to, you know, give y'all a little bit of facts on what's going on. And uh, so we don't just be um, off somewhere uh, or y'all don't think, you know, I'll just do just talking. No, I'm coming with what it is. You know what I'm saying? And this was about the um, in 1963. Um, black marriage rate was at 23.6% of having babies. Not We had a high marriage rate. It was up in the 70s back then as far as when he was just having the babies. But out of wedlock, it was only 23.6% out of wedlock. Um, at the same time this year, that's when they enacted the welfare, which became a right according to the Constitution. You know what I'm saying? It was a right for you to you know, um, be able to get welfare. Now, 
on on this here statistic is showing right now as of uh, 2000 uh, this was 2008 but these statistics is a little bit higher as of now 2020 when I looked it up I think it's like 75 percent of marriages outside of, of, of wedlock you know what I'm saying they call them Ill illegitimate kids you know what I'm saying it's at seventy two percent. This was as of two thousand eight. Like I said, if you go look it up now, it's around seventy five percent in the black community. The Hispanics is at fifty two point five. Uh, total overall is forty point six, and whites is at twenty eight point six. And you see those numbers, you would wonder why. But the black white population is so many of them out out here that they and we have not as high of a population, so it pulls it down along with the the um hispanic population like i said they're growing so fast you know what i'm saying and they unaccounted for a lot of them the same thing with blacks they say we had 13 we really roughly around 15 percent of the population the same thing with the hispanics they had them listed around 16 18 percent they probably closer to 20 percent at this point you know what i'm saying um but just understanding that you know and and White rates have moved up, you know what I'm saying? But nowhere near um, where our rates are at, you know what I'm saying? So we got to have that family structure. And what I'm saying is, you know, those dads, a lot of a lot of them don't probably, people don't even know they, who their dad is out here in the black communities these days, you know what I mean? That's a sad situation. I'm not trying to, you know, jab no knife or anything in there, but we got to, I mean, the fathers that are there, that's willing to help, that uh, have a, a father figure within that um, family, we need that. You know, t today too many black families growing up without a father figure in the house or any part of their life. This makes a big difference. You know what I'm saying? This this is because um, later on in life, um, most of these kids wind up having psychological problems because the father ain't there. So, mom, we need you to be making sure that dad is still able to come around and have some kind of family um, spirit. You know what I'm saying? That you know you can have some familyness. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can get along, put y'all issues aside, and raise these kids so these kids can be functional and understand. You know what it is to have you know black family, a black village. You know. And it don't have to be, you know, a husband, wife. I mean, you can have your brother, your uncle, cousin. We need these figures, these male figures, these strong male figures out here helping galvanize our community. You know what I'm saying? We got to make that part of our new black agenda. You know what I'm saying? Um, secondly, uh, we got to work on those economics. Um, all the communities that are... Um, devastated i'm talking about our top communities y'all go out there and read i ain't making this shit up you know what i'm saying your top homicide cities is a heavy black population there that's just what it is poverty and crime rate go together you know what i'm saying and as i said you got 50 percent of the black people in the bottom half of america so they just go hand in hand here um you look at your most dangerous cities, um, the top murder rate in 2020, New Orleans was number one. Detroit, Michigan was number two. Guess who was number three? My home city of Flint, Michigan was number three. <laughs> number four was Baltimore. Number five was St. Louis. So, I mean, I tell I'm the OG. I done been around this. I ain't telling you stuff. I've been around these type of sit life style my whole life. I don't walk through this city in fear. You know what I'm saying? And we've been the top murder, all this, that, and other. And we have beautiful parts. I don't want y'all, because a lot of people think, all oh, they had the water situation and had top murder, blah, blah, on and on and on. Things pulled out. Hey. This was a beautiful city, <laughs> me growing up. I had a beautiful um, childhood growing up. I remember the 80s when all this, this crack epidemic and all these things came, and things changed. You know what I mean? We still have a beautiful part of our community. We still have, you know, nice black communities here. 
yeah, we have some impoverished parts of town. You know what I'm saying? We do have some bad looking parts of town. But we have some beautiful people here too that are happen to be black Americans. You know what I'm saying? Heirs of American slaves. Now I want us to be united heirs of American slaves. I want to be feeding our spirit so we can get to this. These are the top things that, like I said, we want to build that family. We want to be building that um, economics up. And then out there, we need to be working on our black politics is number one. And then our black business is number two. Now, we got a, a host of other things that, that we need to touch on. And that's, like I said, the economics, the education, health, power within our community. Power comes from the politics and the business. We got to work on the justice system, the police, the high incarceration rates. I mean, we got, I mean, I could go on and on, you know what I'm saying? Y'all go check out when I spoke about finding a reason. Um, about the education, the poverty, um, the earning pay, all these things we got going on. We got to come up with some real agenda. We can't be here another 50 years, people. I mean, my white Americans and everybody else should be looking at this, but I know how um, a capitalist system works. It has to have a permanent underclass. If y'all want to work on something out there that we can work on together, let's work on abolishing parts of that 13th Amendment where slavery still exists within the slave within the prison system. That's going to be your permanent underclass right here. Little things that, you know, we go by, we don't think. It's too many things that's getting swept under the rug and under the table. We got to come together, build some real community, build some real power, and, and we can move through this. You know what I'm saying? It don't take long, and uh, I know we can get through it. I know we can do it. Um, there's your... Uh, New black agenda here from you know from here. That's our start. Now we're gonna add on to that and we'll we'll we we'll definitely have to revisit this particular art, you know, uh show. They Ben gave me my one minute warning out there, y'all. So I got to get ready to go on and, and, and tie this on up. But uh y'all make sure y'all being healthy out there. Like I say, let's keep building our families and creating a positive environment out there, you know what I'm saying? Um Y'all make sure y'all showing y'all haters some love because there's a whole lot of them out there. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of undercover hating here recently. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay because I'm going to keep doing what I do so y'all can keep doing what y'all do. It's the game of life. Y'all come back. I love y'all. A new TV channel, Sundial.tv. That's S-U-N-D-I-A-L dot TV. Urban culture, music, lifestyle, fashion, talk shows, comedy, and more. Check us out at Sundial.tv. TV lineup, what happened to that one hit wonder? The battle, new versus old. Top 100 countdown, old school mixer, slow jam, sundial so Put us in your browser, S U N T I A L dot TV. When you're ready to go from local to global, Web TV can help you reach your prospective audience and hit the target. With your product, service, or brand in a personalized ad campaign with business packages from every size of business. When you're ready to do some new and cool stuff, come and see us at Web TV. This could be your commercial being seen by thousands of viewers. You can email us at webtvmedia1 at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Live at Blackstone Smokehouse, showcasing the Eclipse Band and also featuring tomorrow's future talent star only on sundial networks tuesday and thursday night 7 p.m saturday 8 p.m if you're in the live bands open mic talent we have a treat for you only on sundial networks every tuesday and thursday night 7 p.m saturday 8 p.m if you're in the flint area please come to see the live tape at blackstone downtown flint every thursday night 7 to 10 p.m a new way to watch tv on the web check us out hi d.tv that's h-i-g-h-d.tv
Hot TV, High Dimension Networks, the lineup, top 100 of all time, old school hip hop, what's new now, top 10 from the street, that's my jam, new to the game, and legends in music, yeah that's right, it's about time, something new in TV, a brand new game, new flavor in TV, High Dimension Networks, H-I-G-H-D dot TV.